looking at this dam that's in Midlothian and uh, they've been just trying to see exactly what's going to happen. At first, we thought it was going to give way. Right. Now, hopefully there's some promising news. Uh, Captain John Spann from the Midlothian Police Department with us on the phone. I, I don't know where you are, Captain, but I don't want to be the engineer standing on top of that dam looking over it and saying it's going to be fine. Oh, I understand, Tim. Yeah, I'm standing here at the command post looking at them. I see them standing right up at the point, oh. uh, monitoring, sending information back to the command post. But the volume of water has decreased significantly, they're telling us. And the uh, previous reports of an imminent breach have now been, we're standing down, basically. They're Good. just going to monitor. And uh, they're not expecting any type of catastrophic fa catastrophic failure at this time. Okay, that's good news to hear. The problem is we have more rain in the forecast. So what happens? Where do you guys go from here? Are you going to keep trying to drain the lake, I'm assuming? Correct, yeah. They've got additional pumps coming in to try to relieve some of the pressure because, again, they're anticipating thunderstorms again this evening. And this lake receives a lot of runoff from this area. So they're going to try to get the water level down as much as they can. And I'm sure once the water stops coming over the top, There'll also be some uh, some dirt moved in, some repairs to the back side of the dam where there may be some erosion from this water breach. Yeah, it certainly looks like there is, and that, that water just kind of pouring through there right now. To, to us, to the obviously untrained, it looks worse than it did when we talked to you a while ago. Like I said, it's a wider area of water coming over the top, but the engineers are explaining that's what that area is for, is to relieve pressure overall on the dam. And uh, again, they're saying that the water is still coming over the top, but not in the volume that it was before. Again, we're still probably having runoff from last night's rains that are yeah. still making their way into here. You'd like to get that thing down as far as possible uh, before the next round of rain hits, obviously, and get some trucks in there. Boy, that's, I mean, that's going to be a lot of work. If, if you, you look at the logistics of it, trying to get uh, somebody in there behind the dam to pour in more dirt and then in front of it on the other side to shore things up, it, it just looks like a a tough task with more rain just hours away. Correct, yeah, with the soil being as wet and saturated as it is, I don't know how they're gonna get the equipment unless it comes off of the either side of that opening top side of the dam. And again, I'm not an engineer. I, I take their word for it. They know yeah. what they're talking about. But like I said, we'll be out here all day monitoring this. The command post will remain up. But again, right now we're taking a, we're standing down. We uh, don't anticipate having to divert traffic off of 287. So we've right. released right. those officers at this time, but everybody is subject to callbacks. And again, we'll monitor the weather to see uh, what this evening's gonna bring us. All right, this is something you guys have been watching for a couple of days too, right? Correct, yeah. Just a little over two weeks ago, this before all this rain started, the lake was actually empty uh, and they had <laughs> pumps on it to Amazing. take care of whatever water. But again, uh, with all the rain the last two weeks, especially Sunday night up yeah. till now with the rains we've had, it's really had an impact on the lake. Wow. All right. So some more pumps are going to be brought in. That's the hope. And hopefully they can get uh, some workers in there and try to shore up what's left. So we appreciate your update. You are welcome, Lauren. Thank you all. Thanks. It, there, luckily, the command post is it's high, a ways away. high and dry. And uh, Grand Prairie <laughs> yeah. Police are helping out, too. So right. they've got both the police departments there, and they're talking about all the information with the engineers and I guess the builder as well. The builder of the dam is there, too. I'm sure he's like, it's going to hold. See those pictures, though? Those guys, are, they're like, they're like, <laughs> yeah, it looks good to me. <laughs> Here, I'll hold on to you. Don't fall in. Wow. Yeah, that is scary. It's a, a lot of water with nowhere to go. You'd send, really, let's you'd send really some meteorologists in there. He was hanging over there. I would, I would hold on to him. Okay, just, just double checking right there.